busy man if you're not cycling all over the world let's start right there it's it's been a while since we chat i chat with you in fact last time we spoke of the telephone but more importantly it's been a long year for you it's been a long career for you and as far as cycling is concerned yeah no i mean like it's been a very long season i must say for me and uh, for the team as you just said also there are 18 world tour teams that are confirmed for next year so it's really great for for cycling i must say you know because they were planning to cut down the teams to 17 world tour teams that uh, that was going to leave one team out out you know so that was going to be bad i must say because there were going to be a lot of riders left without mm -hmm. contract and all that stuff and i mean like it's bad already at this time of uh, of the year so it's really good for cycling i must say yeah that's a good thing as well. I mean, I saw the UCI is saying, well, the World Tour saying that, in fact, the Tour de France, um, I think up to 2018, there won't be a, a, a relegation sort of like a, a scenario. So at least for the next two years, we should be seeing more uh, team die data at the, uh, the Tour de France. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, there's not much say that I can really mm. say actually about the team, you know. Uh, mm. I don't know if you know about this. Uh, next year, I'm not part of the, of the team, team yeah. die data. So I don't have uh, so much information of what's really going to be happening in the next uh, coming years. Yeah, mm. that's where I actually wanted to go to. And as far as you, I mean, we, we I remember you when you started with still MTN Kobega. You were one of those faces, as I said in the intro, the first Black African, South African rider to ride in a for a World Tour team like MTN Kobega or Team Data Now, um, do you think? I mean, knowing now that you will not be part of that team, do you think we've we've used you enough, and as far as cyclists concerned, to spread the word for for aspiring young songhezos out there? Yeah, I think I have uh, I have been used, uh, but not enough. You know, we still need uh, to see more, especially kids that are coming from disadvantaged communities being uh, more on bikes. I mean, like if you can look at the team. Uh, Next year, there is no even uh, one South African rider of color that's going to be in the team. Mm. So that shows that we haven't done uh, much work to put, in, to put in more kids onto bicycles that can be able to turn professional in this sport. You know, it's uh, a really a sport that's not very big in South Africa, but we definitely need to promote the sport and, uh, and make it big that people can be aware about this sport, yeah. I mean, we, as we speak right now, we're looking at some of your pictures from, from, from your travels as far as the world's concerned. Um, there you are. I think that's uh, Bosel Hagen that you, you're kind of in the picture with right there. And I look at uh, over the years what you've achieved. I mean, you've, you've done it all, basically, the World Tour, Giro d'Italia, the Espana. Uh, over the years, w if you think of, of what you've done, what stands out for you? Yeah, I mean, like in the past, uh, I think four years has been a really, really good uh, years in my cycling because I've been riding in the highest level of cycling and for me doing the Volta a Spagna last year, doing Milan San Remo in 2013, doing the Giro d'Italia, finishing third in African championships, you know there's uh, so much things that I've really achieved, I mean like there's so many things that I can count and mm. I'm really proud of what I've done in the past uh, in the past few years but uh there's still a lot that i need to achieve you know i think uh, my best years are still ahead yeah so um, i'm really focused i mean my dream is still to ride the tour de france regardless of i'm with a south african team which is day data that i won't be part of next year regardless of i'm with them or not but that's still yeah. my dream that i'm still gonna work really hard to be able to achieve that dream yeah mm. that's where i want to go in the next question i know that uh, for example louis make has also changed teams just, just recently so hope is not lost you can still find yourself riding for a world tour team for me a world tour team that's correct yeah i mean if you want to world no, ride the tour uh, de france no. yeah no i mean like to ride the tour de france you have to be in a world tour team or yeah. be, be in a pro coordinator team that will get invited to the tour de france so that is the the only hope that you can hope to hope for but at this stage of view i'm just uh, really trying to get back to a world tour level yep. of which next year i won't be in a world tour team so i'll really try to work uh, my way back to world tour level that i can be able to take part in the tour de france and of course try to win some races as well mm, i think that was the, well in fact that was the question whether you are speaking to anyone right now or but i guess you just answered that look i don't want to come across uh, i don't want you to come across as being sour towards the team as you said because you're not going back there um, what are the lessons learned, or what can somebody else learn from you, uh, Usonga, as well, having flight, well, flown with that, at the highest level in as far as team dimension data is concerned? You're no longer there, but what can one learn sitting back uh, that you can share with them? 
What can a one man learn? What can one learn from Songhezo? I know that you're no longer at the top, you know, as far as Team Dimension Dart is concerned or a pro team. What does one learn looking at Songhezo right now and saying, mm, this w I want to get into cycling, but maybe these are the do's, these are the don'ts? No, I mean, like, if uh, we have people that want to get into cycling, I mean, like, uh, cycling, I think, is a really good sport, you know. You get to learn so much about cycling, I think. Uh, you know, you get to travel a lot. You get to learn about other people's cultures, you know, especially our team, Dimension Data. I mean, like, we have uh, all these uh, riders all over the countries, which you get to learn so much about their cultures as well. But uh, yeah, I think for, for next year, I think my things on my side are not really certain at this stage of you, but uh, hopefully by next week, everything will be really good, I hope, yeah. So, guys, unfortunately, we've run out of time. I know I'm going to catch up with you in Cape Town around the 24th of no In fact, it's the 24th of November, that's correct, when Team Dimension Data announced their squad for the next season. I know you're not going to be there, but we'll try and catch up with you whilst we're down in Cape Town. Thank you very much for joining us from our Seapoint Studios.